Hi everybody, so this video is about how to create videos. So it's a video about videos. Um, what I'm going to be saying here is not like, you know, any kind of religion, any kind of uh, prescription about how things should be done. Uh, but simply like, you know, a group of... of um, of advices based on what our group has been doing and uh, what seems to work. So let's get to, to the principles. Uh, so in relation to the first principle, uh, and this is pretty simple, you can see this, is we usually use a black screen. Okay, so why a, a black screen? There's no real reason, you know, it just looks nice. Uh, this is also what uh, Sal from the Khan Academy actually uses. Um, and he has very good experience with this. I like the way it looks. Uh, so we basically use black screens. The second uh, advice is to keep your videos short, usually uh, with less than 15 minutes. There are actually two reasons for why you should use 15 minutes. Uh, number one is uh, this is how you know the maximum uh, that YouTube will allow you to 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 upload. So if it, if it has more than 15 minutes, they're gonna you know they're not gonna let you upload the, the video. The second reason is that uh, you can you know it's really hard to keep people's attention for more than 15 minutes, especially in our day and age where. Uh, Everything is short, so blog posts are short, tweet posts are short. So to keep this uh, understandable, uh, just keep it short. Then uh, the third in very, very important point is to keep this informal. Now, there are several reasons why you should keep this informal. First, what exactly do I mean by informal? Usually by informal, I mean the following. Uh, do not use a script. So script is a no-no. You can have sort of a, an overall list of topics that you would like to mention, but it should not be mechanic. It should be fairly informal. The reason why you know, being informal is important is that this will, uh, uh, will keep the attention of the reader really focused. Um, they will be waiting for exactly where you're going with this. They know that you are sort of improvising and that will keep their attention. Um, the second and very or the third and very important point is that uh, by keeping this informal, you're basically showing them that you're human. So you can make mistakes, uh, you can fix your mistakes. And we all, you know, make mistakes and fix mistakes all the time during these videos. This is especially important if you are dealing with some topic that's highly technical. So if it's highly technical, by making mistakes, you're sending a message uh, by saying, well, you know, this is, uh, this is difficult, but it's okay to make mistakes. So if I'm making mistakes, you can also uh, make your mistakes. Now, very, very important. Uh, being informal does, does not have anything to do with you not knowing your stuff, with you not knowing the, the, uh, the topic that you are talking about. So knowing your stuff is really important. So, you know, this never happens within our group. But, again, I just want to make the distinction between being informal and knowing your uh, stuff. So, know your stuff. Um, what else? Um, so, talk a little bit about software. Um, we have uh, a, another video within our group that talks about software. So, I won't go at length in relation to you know, what you should be using. But just a few tips. So, number one, uh, in terms of computers, there are basically two ways of doing this. Uh, one way 
is to have a tablet computer, a tablet PC, where you can write on the screen. I find this to be the best way of doing this, uh, even though the tablet PCs are more expensive than regular PCs. Another way of doing this, which is the way I'm doing it right now, is just to use a regular tablet which has a USB connection to your computer. So basically you will not be uh, writing on your screen, it's a separate device, you write there and it gets written on your computer, on your screen. Second thing is about screen capture device. Uh, and here there are many options. My favorite, Camtasia, uh, really good software, but somewhat expensive. Uh, there's a free version, not of Camtasia, but similar to Camtasia, called Cam Studio. Also good software, uh, good quality software. And then you have several other things that are equally good. You know, Captivate is an excellent software. Um, you know, many, 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 many other options out there. And then the third thing is, where do you write? Where do you uh, do these? Uh, uh, you, you're writing on the screen. And then there are many options. If you're using Windows 7, I would recommend Window, uh, Windows Journal. Really comes with Windows 7. Really simple to use. Uh, right now, I am doing this in GIMP which is a Photoshop, similar to Photoshop, so I'm basically just writing on the screen. I never tried to do paint on Windows, but I assume it should work. Uh, you know, so basically in, anywhere uh, where, you know, you could uh, uh, put a black screen or whatever color of screen you would like. Uh, so this is all about software. And then finally, uh, the idea of how to test this. Um, I think this is a, probably one of the most important aspects. So what exactly are you looking for? When do you know whether uh, you're doing something that's really good? So the way I usually test the videos is through the following uh, 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 protocol. So basically I record the video first. Uh, and then, uh, if I have somebody who's trying to accomplish a given task that I describe in the video, I send them the video first, ask them to watch the video, and try to solve the problem. If they can solve the problem, that means my video worked. Uh, it doesn't matter if it had mistakes, it doesn't matter if I was saying uh, or blah, blah, blah. Uh, but, you know, as long as they could follow what I was, uh, what I was saying, they could reproduce uh, the method, that's really what matters. Only after they have tried to watch the video and solve the problem, then and only then, you know, I will ask them about, well, you know, were there things that, you know, you would prefer? Should it be shorter? Should it be nicer? Should it have a slide uh, or something like that? And that actually brings up, you know, the final point, which is probably one of the most important points. Actually, I said that before, right? So multiple important points, uh, which is to base your uh, video on a practical example. Do not talk about theory. It has to be in the context of a certain problem. And I particularly think that, you know, there are probably two levels of examples. Number one is what we call simple examples or the most typical or canonical examples where you're taking something that's really routine and just describing this. And then in other videos, uh, what you would be doing uh, uh, is to describe uh, the exceptions, right? So basically here, you would be talking about, well, you know, when something goes wrong, what do you do? Or when you have something that's really unusual, uh, what exactly do you do? So those are the basic seven principles of uh, uh, recording videos. Again, not re no religion. Uh, there's a lot of rules here that can be broken. 
uh, but this usually works within our group. Bye.